Question number 11. The angles in a triangle A are in the ratio 1 to 2 to 3, and the angles in triangle B are in the ratio 4 to 5 to 6. Jack says that the middle number in each ratio is one third of the total. So one of the angles in each triangle is 60 degrees. And is he correct? And we need to show some working out to support our answer. Well, first of all, we need to decide whether the middle number in each ratio is in fact one third of the total. So let's have a look at this one here. So in triangle A, try that again. In triangle A, we've got two, which is the middle number. And is that going to be one third of the total? And the total is going to be one plus two plus three. Okay, so that's going to be two over one plus two plus three, which is six. That's going to be two six, which is equal to a third. Okay, so I'm happy that for triangle A, the, um, the middle number is in fact a third of the total. For triangle B, we can do the same thing again. This time our middle number is 5, so we're going to do 5 divided by 4 plus 5 plus 6, and 4 plus 5 plus 6, oops, plus 6, is going to be equal to 15, so that's going to be 5 fifteenths, which in fact is equal to one third. Okay, so um, I'm happy that that's going to be true for triangle A and for triangle B. And it's saying, so one of the angles in each triangle is 60 degrees. Well, the angles in the triangle sum to 180 degrees. So if um, the middle ratio represents a third in each one, we want to do a third of 180 degrees or 180 divided by 3 and that does in fact give us 60 degrees so um, is he correct yes he is correct okay question number 12 in a class the ratio boys to girls is x to y we want to circle the fraction of the class that are girls. So the girls is represented by this y here, and the total number of um, the total number of bits is going to be x plus y. So that's going to be y, which is the girls over x plus y, which is going to be that one there. Okay, question number 13. The price of a computer is reduced by 17.5% and the reduced price is £264. Okay, so as soon as we know that the price of a computer is, is reduced by 17.5%, so originally it was 100% and if it's now gone down by 17.5%, that means that there's now going to be 82.5% percent left so being reduced by 17.5 percent is going to leave us with 82.5 percent and as a decimal multiplier that's going to be 0.825 so I always find it useful to write that down before I do anything else okay so I know that I need to use 0.825 in my calculation the reduced price is 264 pounds so that's going to be my new price after it's been reduced and we want to know by how much is the price reduced. So there's a value which we're going to call, um, we don't know the original price, so there's a value that we're going to call x. And I know, I know that when I do x times by 0 0.825, so I'm reducing that value by 17.5%, I know that that's going to give me £264. Okay, so to work out what this value x is, I need to divide both sides of this equation by 0 0.825. And that's going to tell me that x is equal to 264 
two six four divided by zero point eight two five and that gives me three hundred and twenty pounds. Whoops. Okay, so um, the question's asking us to work out how much the price has been reduced by. So um, I'm going to say my reduction is going to be equal to, well, it was 320 and now it's 264. So if I do 320, take away 264, and that's going to give me 56. Put in there. That's going to be 56 pounds. So my answer is going to be 56 pounds. Okay, question 14, um, we have a Venn diagram uh, problem to solve. We're being told that our universal set, um, so everything in here is going to be in numbers between zero and one with three decimal places. A, so this set here, are the numbers that round to 0 0.7 to one decimal place. So any number in here to one decimal place must round to 0 0.7. For B, they're going to be numbers that round to 0 0.75 to two decimal places. So anything in this set here rounds to 0 0.75 to two decimal places. And we need to work out a possible number, so any number we want, with three decimal places that is going to be in this shaded area here. So this is the intersection of A and B. So that means not only does this number round to 0 0.7 to one decimal place, but it also needs to round to 0 0.75 to two decimal places, and it needs to be, have three decimal places. So I think a number that might go in here um, is going to be 0 0.75 seven four nine zero point seven four nine will round to zero point seven to one decimal place so it satisfies that set and it also will round to zero point seven five to two decimal places so I'm happy that zero point seven four nine is going to satisfy both of those things okay part B says work out a possible number with three decimal places that is going to be in the shaded area here. So this time it rounds to 0 0.7 to one decimal place, but it doesn't round to 0 0.75 to two decimal places. Okay, so I think over here we could have 0 point, oops, 0.741. So to, two des to one decimal place, this would round to 0 0.7. To two decimal places, this would round to 0 0.74, not to 0 0.75. So that would belong in this set here. Okay, um, work out a possible number with three decimal places that is going to be in the shaded area here. Put that down a bit. Okay, so, um, so this time it's going to round to 0 0.75 to two decimal places, but it's no longer going to round to 0 0.7. So I think over here, we're going to have 0 0.751. So to one decimal place, that would round to 0 0.8. So it doesn't belong in this set, but to two decimal places, it does in fact round to 0 0.75. So it does belong in this one here. Okay, finally, we need to work out a possible number with three decimal places that's going to be in this shaded area here. So this number doesn't round to 0 0.7 to one decimal place, nor does it round to 0 0.75 to two decimal places. So we can just have anything that doesn't satisfy either of those. So we could have, for example, 0 0.123. That rounds to 0 0.1 to one decimal place and 0 0.12 to two decimal place doesn't satisfy either of these so it doesn't belong in set A or set B. Okay, um, and sorry I should mention it's between zero and one um, and it has three decimal places.